Goldroch Ibrahimi Rai and Atena Daimi to serve additional two years. The Iranian regime's appeals court in Tehran upheld a three-year, seven-month sentence against Goldroch Ibrahimi Rai and Atena Daimi on the charges of insulting the supreme leader and propaganda against the state. They will serve at least two years and one month in prison. On June 18, 2019, Branch 26 of the Revolutionary Court in Tehran, presided by Judge Iman Afshari, examined a new case filed against Gurukh Ibrahimi Irai and Atena Daimi for writing open letters criticizing prison conditions, condemning the executions of political prisoners, including Ramin Hossein Panahi, Zanyar Moradi, and Loman Moradi, and for singing the revolutionary anthem O Martyr in honor of the executed prisoners, which the court said was an insult to the regime's supreme leader, Ali Khamenei. The court sentenced Golrokh Ibrahimi Rai and Atena Daimi to one and a half years in prison on the charge of propaganda against the state and to two years and one month for insulting the leader. Iran regime now using advanced centrifuges, violating nuclear deal. Iran's regime has begun using areas of advanced centrifuges to enrich uranium in violation of its 2015 nuclear deal, a spokesman said Saturday, warning that Europe has little time left to offer new terms to save the accord. The comments by Behrouz Kamalwandi of the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran signal a further cut into the one-year expert estimate Tehran would need to have enough material for building a nuclear weapon if it chose to pursue one. The regime already has breached the stockpile and enrichment level limits set by the deal. France to pursue efforts to bring Iran regime to comply with nuclear deal. France will continue efforts to bring the Iranian regime into full compliance with the 2015 nuclear deal, French Defense Minister Florence Parly said adding that U.S. and European moves to strengthen security in the Gulf must be complementary and well-coordinated. We can only confirm our goal, which is to bring Iran to fully respect the Vienna deal, Parley told a news conference on Saturday with U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper in Paris. We must do everything we can to contribute to ease tensions with Iran and to ensure navigation safety, she added. Bolton says Iranian tanker is in Syrian port. The Iranian regime's oil tanker, Adrian Darya 1, blacklisted by Washington, has arrived in the Syrian port of Tartus, U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton said. Anyone who said the Adrian Darya 1 wasn't headed to Syria is in denial. Bolton said in a tweet late Friday with a satellite image he said showed the ship anchored two nautical miles off Tartus. Tehran thinks it's more important to fund the murderous Assad regime than provide for its own people. We can talk, but Iran's not getting any sanctions relief until it is stopped lying and spreading terror. The Adrian Darya 1 had been held for six weeks by the British overseas territory of Gibraltar on suspicion it was set to deliver oil from Iran to Syria, a violation of European Union sanctions on Bashar al-Assad's regime. <laughs>